Hello beautiful people, I'm back with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome for the first time. I'm really happy to have you here. If this is not your first time on my channel, oh, you're back again. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos and also give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below in the comment section. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, hepatitis B. Um, in my department, they talked about hepatitis B and I was like, you know what, why don't I also talk about it on my channel? I also want to learn about it and also come here and give you all educational gist about what hepatitis B is. So if you're on stuff in the internet and you came across this video, thank goodness you did. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, I'm not a um, health expert or anything of that sort i just research and you know answer basic questions concerning this kind of topics all i do is research and make sure that at least you know the basics concerning this topic so you're not just confused or you don't know just anything about it this is the vid my videos just serve as an introduction to this topics that i talk about on my channel so as usual today i'm going to be talking about um just a few things on hepatitis b nothing major just what it is symptoms and you know everything that has to do with the basics of hepatitis b so if you're in for that you want to know about that <laughs> You're all in for all that gist. I call it educational gist, but anyway. If you're in for that, keep on watching and let's go. What is hepatitis B? Hepatitis B is known to be an infection of the liver. This is caused by a virus, which is the hepatitis B virus. And hepatitis B can be mild and um, short term, which is termed as acute but once it upgrades and moves from that it then becomes chronic when hepatitis b moves to a chronic state this is when it can lead to cancer it can lead to severe um damage to the organ or liver failure and other more serious cases compared to when it is acute now what are the symptoms of hepatitis b how would you know when somebody has it okay one of the symptoms is jaundice jaundice is when the skin or the white part of your eyes become yellow and the pee also turns brown another symptom of hepatitis b is fever another one is stomach pain that is similar to loss of appetite then we have belly pain we have muscle pain we also have um, light colored poop and fatigue that persists. So when you start taking note of these symptoms or when you notice the symptoms, you know that something is definitely wrong. I feel like for me, the symptom that stands out is definitely jaundice. Like when you notice this, you know that obviously, why would your eye, why would the white, I mean, why would the white part of your eye be yellow? Why would your skin be yellow? You already know that you need to go see the doctor because something is wrong somewhere, okay? So always be observant of whatever is going on in your body. When you see nothing, something that is not right, you know something that is, okay, okay, this is not good. This is not okay. Go to the hospital, okay? Okay. Symptoms of hepatitis B do not show up until one to three months, both um, acute and chronic. We might not see the symptom until one or three months after having the virus in your body. What causes hepatitis B? Like I said, I said it, co it is caused by a virus, which is termed hepatitis B virus. There you have it. When someone has hepatitis B virus in their body, whether you have symptoms, you know, the symptoms would take time to come out. Remember, one to three months. Once a person has the virus in their body, they can transfer it to other people. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, whether there are symptoms or there are no symptoms, 
you can transfer it to people i feel like this is why having a monthly checkup is very very important you when they say put your health as you know top of your list or something like that honestly i feel like it's very very important because when you go for things like this you would know what's wrong you know what's not wrong you check your blood you check stuff like that even according to the research i made most people don't even know because they don't even show symptoms so they don't even know that they have it until they went to okay maybe i went to check my blood um i went to check it out i went for a blood test i mean and i just found out like what how come you see what i'm trying to say so most people don't even know they're just carriers of the virus and they keep transferring it to other people how do they even transfer it to people how can hepatitis b virus be transferred from one person to another person Hepatitis B can be spread through unprotected sex. If you have sex with someone who has this virus in their system, they can pass it to you. So beware. Just abstain. Okay? Okay. Another way is sharing sharp objects like needles, pins anything sharp once the blood of the carrier of this virus is on that object and you take it be rest assured that you would have it okay okay do not share sharp objects okay don't share it you don't know who is carrying it because people might not show symptoms of having this virus in their body so avoid sharing sharp objects with people Another one is accidental needle sticks. Now this one is more of in the health sector. For health workers, if they come in contact with the blood of a carrier of that virus, then through that they can get it. So we can basically see that through blood. I think that's one thing to point out. Another way is from mother to child. We all know that the connection between a woman that is carrying a baby like you know they're sharing everything so basically if the mother has the virus in her system even if she doesn't show symptoms the child will definitely have it hepatitis b does not spread through sneezing kissing sharing utensils or sharing food and water and stuff like that i've mentioned the way that it can spread so just to put it out there it doesn't spread through sneezing and all that stuff no it doesn't moving on to the diagnosis now if you notice the symptoms and you're worried even if it's not that is just go to the hospital if you just go to the hospital the doctor will put you on a physical test they will run some tests on you the first one is hbsag the second one is meant to be anti-hbs the doctor will carry out this test on you to be able to know if you have this in your body through this test they would know if it's acute or it's chronic so basically this test can run for as long as six months just like keeping watch over your system and how it is running and stuff like that note before you move on to the other tests that i mentioned the physical test um, is to detect if you have high level of enzymes in your liver if you do not have high level of enzymes in your liver you're clean but if you do then you'll be tested for those things that i mentioned okay how can hepatitis b be treated or cured just to put it out there there's no cure okay i'm not discouraging you but there's no cure but as soon as you notice it run to your doctor as soon as possible okay they are going to give you a vaccine which will help you fight the virus in your system and also a shot of hepatitis b immunoglobulin this is to help your immune system to boost it to be able to fight against this virus that has invaded your system okay like get out of here <laughs> also like i said before there's some people that will not show symptoms at all even during the space of those tests and all of that they might not show any symptoms nothing at all if someone has this virus in their system for more than six months bro it's on another level okay it's definitely another level but then if they don't show symptoms then they are termed as carriers they can transfer it to anybody i repeat anybody okay they can spread it <laughs> to 
anybody even if they don't have symptoms or whatever so you honestly cannot even know who is carrying it okay you can't know but this is just showing us to be more careful and to take our health very seriously okay go for checkup check your body put a top list don't share sharp objects and stuff like that you really don't want to risk having something that is this huge that can affect your liver and eventually can lead to cancer and other you know very very serious conditions before i conclude and end this video i know it's pretty short or is it i don't know but you know <laughs> before i conclude and end this video i'm going to be listing out just two, two tiny about hepatitis B that I feel like you should know but before I say that just a disclaimer I'm not sure if I've said this I am not a health expert okay I only talk on what I feel like needs to be known like what I've said now you know the basics of what hepatitis B is so when you see symptoms you know exactly what to do you know what to prevent it you know that okay not everybody's gonna show symptoms so I've got to be careful okay um, I might have it and I might not know okay so that's, that's the aim of putting this type of videos out there so you just know the basics of what it is if you want to dive deeper you want to go mm, 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 you want to read the whole thing and be like mm, 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 I know this 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 <laughs> Anyways, I'll be leaving a link to an article or a research which you can read and no more dive deeper into it because I feel like this is kind of a broad, broad topic, but I just try to like, you know, bring it down and talk about the main things that I feel like everybody should know. So now moving on to the two facts about hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is known to be 100 times more infectious than HIV. Who knew that? I did not know that I did not know that okay so now you know <laughs> and hepatitis B is also known to be the primary cause of liver cancer which is also known as HCC those are the two facts that I'm going to be saying in this video if you want to know more facts about hepatitis B you can click the link in the description box below to read more learn more and all of that I really hope you enjoyed this brief introduction into what hepatitis B is all about if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel also follow me on Instagram let's grow together and that's it for this video I'll see you in my next video bye mwah, mwah, mwah.